Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a heart. You'll need up to 20 bands. So you need bands, of course. You need up to about 20 bands. That's about approximate. You probably need about 18, but I'll just have about 20 just to be on the safe side. And you will also need a loom hook because it's going to be quite a small charm, so you won't need that one of those big crochet hooks or then other loom kind of hook. You can get these because I see other people with these other ones and they're quite big, but you wouldn't need that. You you can have this, or you you also can use that. Up to you. You can use a crochet hook, pen or pencil. I would prefer a loom hook, crochet hook, because it's quite thin and it's got the top like that. So we're going to start. First of all, you take one rubber band and wrap it around your loom hook or whatever you're using four times. So one, two, three, four. Like that. So once you have that done, so once you tied your band around four times, you will get another. Sorry, one second. So yeah, you'll get two rubber bands. And this is a way you can. So what we're going to do is pull this one onto this so you can either hold it like that and like push it with your thumb but I don't want to do like that I'm going to do it like this so basically you put it around your um, middle finger and your pointer finger and your thumb will go at the bottom like that and then you pull the one where you twist around you pull you can pull that one by one so that's one bit I can so I'm gonna get a bit of that pink one and pull over. You can do it one by one or you can do it all. Whatever helps you. And then so once you have that on there, put it down and then this bit will just go on to link it. So that's one. Now I'm going to get another pink or whatever your colour you're using. Hold it around like that and pull this over. So like that. And where am I going to get help? Okay, calm down, calm down. So you've got that three times so one two three now we're going to bring another two times yeah um one more so i'm going to get a yellow so again you'll need another two elastic bands i'm going to be getting yellow and then just do that and bring it so once that that's that's one. So now we're gonna do. You should have just a, a cat band right at the top, and that should be at the top. See that one at the top where it's twisted around four times. So yeah, what you're gonna do is basically you're gonna basically to kind of split it apart. And put your finger in the middle of it, so like that, and then kind of pull it apart. So I've pulled it apart. See, and you get the top of your loom hook, and then just. I didn't know you had an R2 unit. I do now. So like that. Now we're gonna make a slip knot. We're going to make a slip knot by pulling, so it should look like that. We make a slip knot by pulling the end bands, all of the end bands, 
like this. I'm gonna do it one by one. So get one of the end bands, clover, and do that until all the end bands are all finished. And then pull tight. And then we're going to do that another time. Okay? We're going to do what we just done there one more time. So. Get one rubber band and tie it around the hook or whatever you're using four times. So. Two. Four. And then get another two bands. Two. And then just put it on there. And then pull the one we and then pull the ones what you just twisted around onto this. So you can do it one by one or do it all. So get one of those and pull it around and then I'm just pull it down so look at that and then that bit will just go back onto the hook like that and then get another two bands so that's two bands Put that around like that, and then pull that one we just done over. So it looks like that. So do that once more. Get two rubber bands. Mix it up, give it a little look at the squirt. There actually is something mm -hmm. in the knees. And you can see the stains gone. So we've got the mm -hmm. squash, one more squirt. Cool. Job done. Thank you. You can pull, so you can rewind if you're far behind. And now you should have four. And again, the cat band was at the top. You should have a cat band at the top, what's twisted around four times. And just kind of like just kind of get it and put your finger through it like that and just like kind of make it like a hole and then pull this bit and then put this bit so you can see in so it's like that and then with another one I'm gonna make a slip knot so by pulling pulling so this is the back this is the end this one for me the one closest to the end, so it's this one. We're going to pull all them bands over and make sure it doesn't get mixed. And make so I'm going to do one at a time. Like I was saying, make sure it doesn't. If you're doing it all one colour, make sure it doesn't get mixed with like this side because if you pull that over, it comes on, it comes off. So just try and remember to do it like that. Wait, yeah. Like what I just said, it would. Sorry, didn't, don't do what I just done, I've done that wrong. So I'm going to have to quickly do that now. I hope so. But now, I've just done it. See? So now we're going to put them together and then just kind of put them tight. It helps reverse the look of up to two years of damage by reinforcing the barrier. Sort them out. And now we are going to get one single band. One. And then put it around like that. So get that one elastic band and put it around like that. Can you solve it? And then pull, then it circles, and then the end thing. So we'll watch it. And then you should have that once you pull it along. Put the rest of that. 
and now we're going to make a slip knot. I know it might not look like one yet, but it will just in a minute. So now we're going to make a slip knot, so the one closer to the end, pull it up there. Put it tight, take it off, and there you go. You have your cute little hut. So there. Hope you enjoy this video. And of course, if you just want to make it bigger, you will need more bands and just do more of them bands, more of the more like get into bands and pulling it over and do that if you want to make it bigger. And you can use it as a charm, you can use it as like to go in a book bag if you go to school, to go in a key ring, to go in, um, onto a charm bracelet. You could just slide it on. So I hope you enjoyed and um, keep making these cute little hearts.